Hey, what's up, guys? Here's a I'm gonna here's a video that I'm gonna give a little bit of a tip for Zangief. Probably a really really effective tool that I think is gonna make Zangief even more scary than he might already be. And this is something that I figured out. Uh, I was playing this just a couple of days ago with a bunch of other people, and I found out this is a really really good technique. Of course, what I am talking about is his super. No shock here. This is not a shock. Everyone knows the super is really good. And everyone knows that you can link into the super, for example, like so. Um, oops. Link into the super. The tricky part, however, here is this, is that there are a lot of situations that we haven't thought of that the super can combo, ow, that um, the super can combo where nothing else will combo. And the most important one, in my opinion, is going to be jump attack into super. This is actually going to be super crucial to Zangief. If you notice, that was a four hit combo. The super normally is one, two, three. Now on Birdie, the tallest character in the game, I hit him at the top of his head. I hit him at the top of his head. And I did super and it should say two, three, four. Boom, there you go. That you cannot combo with anything else because it's the only thing fast enough that's gonna combo in that situation. So what actually happens is if you're playing Zangief and you're playing good footsies with him and let's say the opponent whiffs, let's say the opponent whiffs a standing medium kick and then you jump with Zangief, what you can actually do is confirm off of this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to record Zangief walking here, do jump, medium kick, in the super like this. Boom, two hit combo, three hit, four hit, right? It's good stuff. It's really, really good. However, let's take a look at this now. If I go back to playback settings and turn this on, and come back over here and restart the whole thing. We all know that Birdie's low strong is really good. And it's gonna beat Zangief for the most part if he knows you're gonna jump. So if he knows you're gonna jump, I'm gonna beat you every time. However, if I'm playing footsies and I win and I'm too late with my crouching strong because I was playing footsies, I'm getting my ass comboed by Zangief. And this can give you such a good comeback factor. So if I accidentally do low strong a little too late because I didn't know he was gonna jump. Oops, again, birdie's low strong, super good. But if I'm too late, boom, I am going to get boom. So very good. And someone asks in the chat a very, very good question, which is what happens if I block? Block this, well, I will not get grabbed because what the hell? I'm such a liar. I guess you're gonna get grabbed anyway. But I can jump. I can okay, so it's not actually. <laughs> it's not as good as I thought it was. Uh, it's not as good as you think it is. I can jump out of it in this situation here. However, the thing about it is the reason why this is so good. The reason why this is so good is because as the Zangief player, I can jump at Birdie and hit forward and spin the controller. If I see Birdie go for a move, if I see him crouch and hit a button, or if I say like see Mika do towards strong, or let's say someone tries to do an anti-air normal button. If I see them do a normal button, one of three things is gonna happen. They're gonna hit me in which I get hit out of the air, we're gonna get traded, whereas I'm gonna get hit out of the air, or I'm gonna hit them in which I will combo. So I can actually react to whether or not my opponent hit a button and finish the super. If I don't see them hit a button, I can spin the controller. There's plenty of time to confirm and not do the super. And then, go, whoops, okay, don't hit punches because that'll still come out. So what I could probably do instead is hit light kick instead. So basically, I can actually confirm, whoops, so I can confirm, 
and then go into light kick instead. But if I see him do a move, I'm just gonna go for it because I'm either gonna get hit out of the air or I'm beating him and I'm getting this combo. So a really, really powerful tech with Zangief. Like I said, height of my jump, I hit it at the top, my foot landed on birdie, still comboed, gonna be a really effective way for Zangief to get comebacks. In fact, he also has this great jumping jab here. Um, the hit stun in, on it is not as long, uh, so you see it didn't combo there. But in a lot of situations, if you do it low enough, it is gonna combo. So that's just a little too late. So that works? Yeah, that worked right there. So that's actually four hits. But jumping forward is going to be, jumping forward into super is going to be such a key tool for Zangief, in my opinion. So definitely practice that. Maybe put the computer, well, like I said, uh, if you fight against people who like to normal move anti-air on you, that is a definitely a great way to blow that up and get a ton of damage. So there you go. Uh, negative edge probably won't make too much of a difference because even on whiff, the negative edge is gonna come out anyway. So negative edge is not going to help in that situation. So there you go, that's a little bit of extra tech with Zangief, really good stuff. Like I said, if you jump on him, you see him hit a button and you hit jumping forward, go for the super if you deem it's worth using the super at that time. Like I said, you're either gonna get hit out of the air and so the super doesn't come out, or you're gonna beat their attack in which you will combo them even at the top highest height. You saw even with as tall of a character as Birdie is, I was able to get the combo going. So that is some Zangief tech. Uh, hope you guys enjoy that and hope that helps you guys online.